Hi everyone, my name is Magdalena and this video is going to be a little different because I'd like to tell you about four classical music pieces that changed my life completely. Let's start! First piece is Prokofiev's Violin Sonata in F minor. I heard this piece for the first time when I was in high school and I attended a violin masterclass and while one person was playing this piece I didn't know the name of the piece but I was totally impressed and when I came back home I was searching for 20th century sonata and finally I found it. I wouldn't say this piece is very easy to listen to. It's not about beautiful melodies, it uh, sometimes is even ugly and this ugliness is it, this ugliness make, makes it so beautiful and it's so authentic and emotional and it touches something deeper in the soul like this piece has a soul and it's hard to tell it in words what i feel but it makes me impress every time i listen to it the first recording of this piece I heard was by Oystrak and from that moment it's the only recording I can listen to because for me it's like it is so so deep in my mind this interpretation that I think it's perfect and I cannot listen to anybody else's interpretation I'm going to tell about piece number two and three together because I heard them in the same period of time and uh, my approach to this piece is similar. These pieces are Rachmaninoff's uh, cello sonata uh, second movement and uh, Brahms uh, sextet, string sextet, uh, number one, first movement. When I heard this piece for the first time, it was about five years ago, I had in mind that I was able to die because I, I, I had heard the most beautiful music in the world, really, I, I felt like this. When I listen to Brahms sextet or even if I think of it, I feel something warm in my stomach, I feel like somebody were hugging me like this music is so is so positive and so sincere and open like really i feel so relaxed and surrounded by love really <laughs> when i listen to Rachmaninoff cello sonata i also feel something hot in my stomach and it is very very pleasant and i see like endless landscape and it makes me relax and this harmony is so beautiful I know that beginning is a bit nervous but after that there is so 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 beautiful melody it's like universe it's it's really really big and it's beautiful I I have to say that Rachmaninoff is and Brahms are my two favorite composers. The fourth piece is the first concerto grosso by Alfred uh, Schnittke. I don't know when I met this piece for the first time, but it wasn't at any concert because I heard it live a few years later. But I remember one time I was listening to this piece in my room and my mom heard it and said like oh, this piece is like music for uh, suicide, why, why are you listening to it? <laughs> this piece is crazy but it's brilliant and Schnittke was a genius. I feel like big excitement whenever I listen to it. It's so differential and has so many colors and boots. You can hear tangos and like simple melodies, also baroque vibes there. And when I listen to it, I'm waiting 
what is going to happen in the next seconds. It's not a kind of piece that you listen to and relax. It's a piece you listen to and you are a bit, I would say, stressed. You are like you were watching any horror movie and <laughs> it is worth listening. Once I was at the concert and this piece was played and people were very disgusted really. <laughs> like they couldn't stand listening to it and like people were, were doing like <sighs> they were so nervous and I was totally totally in the music and for me it was very very important experience and it was I would say my dream to hear it live yeah so these four pieces are my favorite and are in my heart all the time and if you don't know them you should now stop this video and listen to them if you like my video you can subscribe my channel and visit my profile on instagram you can also watch my previous videos and see you in the next video bye